What we've seen here um, is that there is, you know, there's a whole bunch of restoration gone on, gone on here with riparian fencing and planting. The local landowner has uh, brought the fences right back to exclude stock. The planting is going really well and now we're sort of looking, looking to take it to the next step where we can um, you know, start to improve fish passage, get more spawning for, for the white bait species which in, here is, is Inaka. Yeah, very much so. I mean, anywhere where you've got, you know, and th throughout all of New Zealand actually, anywhere where you've got farmland adjacent to you know, estuaries and lowland rivers, Historically, the farmers have been worried about land inundation, and one of the main ways they've managed that is is through tidal gates and floodgates. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the two aren't mutually exclusive. You can do both, and and certainly what we're wanting to do here is we're installing water level monitoring gear and all of the water quality gear that goes along with it as well. And the idea there is that we can actually show farmers these are the environmental outcomes that we could achieve and this was the impact on the farm. And so, you know, it might be that there's no impact and we can show that and we can take that out to the rest of, um, the rest of New Zealand and say, you know, you can do this. Um, we've, got the, we've got, you know, th this gear that we've got here, you can set alarms on it. So in real time, if the water level gets to a, a, a level that would worry a farmer, they get an alarm and we know we need to modify the gates we've got here, um, you know, to, to, to look after that property. No, not at all, and not, 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 especially not with this newer technology that comes through. So this water level recorder here, um, you know, two or three years ago to install one like that that could communicate in real time would be about $10,000. Uh, that unit there is $700. This one has just got a, um, a little cell phone card in it, and um, every hour it will beam out, um, and then we can look on a web page. We've got four of these along through the catchment here, and we can look at a web page to see what the water levels are doing. I mean, the challenge up until now has been the telemetry side of things, in real time being able to understand what would happen. Whereas, you know, before you would have to, um, say with the dissolved oxygen loggers there as well, to get the data off that, I have to manually go and download it. So it's the telemetry uh, technology that comes with this um, that has been the real game changer.